I need to be at that end to cut it. Exactly. Not, uh, at, you know, the other not, end. Not, not from where you are. Yeah. Yeah, that's the problem. That's why they come see me. I'm closer to their foot than they are. Yeah. How you doing, Jack, this Very morning? Very good. Welcome and... Uh, My first time thanks, here. Yes, thanks for allowing us to film you today. So tell us a little bit about these nails. So you haven't cut them for a while, right? No, I haven't cut them, no. They're... So you say about a year, you said? Oh, yeah, yeah, a year. Okay. So you're just uh, waiting to see me, right? Is that what happened? Yeah. <laughs> okay, <laughs> just kidding. Jack's pretty funny guy, so I think we're going to get along fine, right? Yeah. Are you are you a joker? You tell, tell a lot of jokes or what? Yeah, I, 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 I'm like my dad. He kid a lot. Yeah? For, yeah, for me, I can't remember any jokes for the life of me. I, I just can't. If I hear it, I'll know. I, I yeah, I, I heard it before, you know. Yeah. But it's so hard for me to remember all the jokes, you know. So yeah. what? So, so tell me some good, clean jokes. Not not no no R rated or X rated. No, I, I don't. I don't. I, well, I just you know kind of. Well, when something comes up, I I joke. You know? Oh, I see. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I'm a little bit like that too. I, I can't remember any jokes, but yeah. I can, I can think of something, you know, when things come up, right? Yeah. So. Yeah. Okay. Good. So, do you usually sometimes you cut these yourself, or yeah, what, I try. I got one. I got a big pair at home, but I just can't. It's hard for me. Sometimes it's hard for me to get down there. Yeah, yeah. So that's why this been. It's been like this. Any, any of these hurting you? Uh, the big one, the big toe, and that. One would look like a ram's a. Uh, this one. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. That one kind of. Especially on the top of the foot. Right. It pushes on it, right? Yeah, right, it pushes. Yeah. And if I wear a sock or something. Yeah, yeah. So it does. Uh, it, it is irritation, not you know painful, but it's just irritation. It's kind of there, huh? Yeah. Yeah. I've had worse pain. I've had kidney stone pains. Oh yeah, yeah. Those are like the birth, huh? Yeah, I had a Bur birth of a stone. Oh, I had a size of a half dollar. Is that right? Oh, wow. And they, uh, I had to have it surgically removed. They couldn't blast it out. Oh, is that right? Ah. So I spent a few days in the hospital. Oh, when was that? A couple years ago. A couple years ago? Oh, I can see. Yep. And, well, what? it was, it was, felt good. Mm -hmm. After that, though, right? Yeah. They're trying to get it out and kind of push through, huh? But a lot of pain, huh? Yeah, well, yeah, I was, Gordy, when they did it surgically, they got, they woke me up at five. Five o'clock in the morning. Uh -huh. I, I slipped right through it, so I didn't. Next thing I know, I woke up in the uh, cover room. Then they moved me over to a, a room. Uh huh. I had a gun at, at Los Alamitos Hospital. Oh, I see. What kind of what kind of work do you do? Well, right now I I used to drive for thirty five years uh -huh. for my mom's company. Now I kind of I'm her assistant. You can say I I help her out a lot now. Oh, the company's still going? Oh, yeah. We're, oh, yeah. She's the CEO. Is that right? Um, my new title is assistant to the CEO. Oh, really? <laughs> or CEO assistant. Really? Yeah, I help my mom out a lot. Wow. We, we, she goes into work some, once to twice a week. Oh, is that right? Yeah. She's kind of semi-retired then? Yeah. Are you are you running the company then? No, my one brother, I have an bro older brother running the company. He's a president. Oh, is that right? What, uh, kind, of, what kind of... We sell... Uh, Metal metal cutting machines. To oh, cut I see. Steel. Uh -huh. We sell we sell to the fabricators to steel warehouses and uh -huh. the government. You know that's why we have to stay open uh, during the crisis. Yeah, because they they need you, huh? Yeah, because we 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 sell machines and blades and other stuff to go with in the industrial. Mm -hmm. So they you know they they need the machines. They need that and the blades to go with it. Yeah. So we we had to stay open, but you know it's nice. It's, we we had to lay off a, a couple people. Uh huh. Wasn't as busy. Slow down a little no, bit. Well, because of the COVID. Oh, I see. Yeah, yeah. But what what kind of machine does it make? Well, like with a blade, what kind of what what machine does it go into? Uh, well, they cut. You know those uh, things, uh, those big uh, intakes on jets, those big round. We we sell it to a cup a company a machine to that that cuts the cuts that and makes the uh, make you know, make those rings for the plant 
for the plane. They're about, you know, they're wider than a, when they go in a flatbed truck, and when they're done, right. they're, they're wider. Oh, I see. So they, they need it for the planes and... Yeah, and uh, and for structural buildings, you know, that mm -hmm. we cut, they cut the different kind of structural steel for, you know, to make buildings and stuff. Mm -hmm. so it's, I see. My mom had been in that business over 40 years. Is that right? Wow. I've been in it 35 years for driving. Mm -hmm. And then after my first accident, all the, all the time I've been driving, my first accident, mm -hmm. they uh, decided to, to retire me. No, but, really? <laughs> well, somebody cut me off on the freeway. They saw me on the, they have, we had a dash cam in the vehicle. Uh -huh. They saw me get mad because I got, well, I got mad because I hit another person. Oh, really? Yeah. I, you know, but we weren't going that fast. We were going slow in, mm -hmm. down the uh, five freeway mm -hmm. out in the valley area. Traffic out there was unbearable, so. Really bad? <laughs> well, it was bumper to bumper, but some car was in a rush to get somewhere. Mm -hmm. Always, right? <laughs> yeah, but I saw him after he, he, you know, he cut me off, he drove down the uh, shoulder, just passing everybody up. Oh, wow. Yeah, so I hit but, another car and I was mad because I hit the car. Because I, when my, you know, that was my record. I, <laughs> she was in my blind spot and I didn't, you know. You didn't see see that person? Yeah. So what happened? Did, did you get hurt? Or? No, nobody got hurt. Oh, I see. Just the cars. Yeah, just a little dead. Because we were going about 20, 25 miles an hour. Out of oh, you're going slow, yeah. There's a lot of traffic. Yeah. I see. So we're, you know, well, when you get stuck like that, people just lose patience, you know? Yeah. So they saw me on the dead. They thought I was mad because, you know, I'm young, mad at the... No, I got mad. Cause I was telling them I was trying... I got mad because I hit the person next to me. Oh, I see. And... So they decided to retire me out of driving and put me, decided to give me a new title, help my mom out. Really? Just because of the one accident? Yeah. Wow. That's pretty strict. Yeah, well. <laughs> it's not even necessarily your fault. I know. I know. Yeah, and then you couldn't go too fast anyways. This was uh, all yeah. too much trouble. I got my way to a, a manufacturer to pick something up. Mm -hmm. So you don't drive anymore? No, I don't drive for them anymore now. But I, I, I work in the office. It's less stressful now in the office. Yeah, yeah. It was, it was more stressful during the, those years driving. Mm, I see. Because they used to have it going from the San Fernando Valley to San Bernardino and, and Riverside in one day. Oh, really? All of that? Yeah, huh? I'm, out, I'm at the far west end of the, of the San Fernando Valley and driving all the way over to to the San Bernardino area. Wow. So that, that's what stressed me out, you know. Yeah, driving in traffic like that is pretty stressful, huh? Yeah, so I get it. Now I work as CEO for my mom. Mm -hmm. That's easier. Assistant. Well, she she comes into work every, you know, like two days a week. Mm -hmm. First time she comes in, she sign checks. Uh -huh. Next time she comes in, look at the invoices that, that we sell. The, 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 see what how our business is mm -hmm. that's good yeah we've been doing okay right now we 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 picked up a little bit so yeah you do nails looking a little better yeah it does i'm gonna grind it down and I, all the samples i'm gonna send it off to uh see if you have fungus i mean it, it, it does look like fungus right yeah, but we want to confirm that it is and then so we can start the treatment okay yeah i know you well, want i couldn't get that part cut that would be easy to cut. No. I've done, I've done this a few times, huh? Well, I try to do it. <laughs> you try to do it yourself. Yeah, my mom said, well, every, don't you cut Yeah, I try, mom. It's just, I need to be at that end to cut it. Exactly. Not, uh, at, you know, the other end. Not, not, not from where you are. Yeah. Yeah, that's the problem. That's why they come see me. I'm closer to their foot than they are. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Yeah, I've had these yeah, problems for several years. Uh huh. Have you tried anything on it? Like some medicine or anything? Yeah, I have. And started helping, but then after a while, you know. Uh huh. You got something like at the pharmacy or something? Yeah. Have you seen any doctors about this? I just saw my last doctor about a, few, about a week ago or so. Uh huh. Yeah, I, well, I went in for, 
for that too, but I also went in for, I had, in my knee, I had a little knee problem, but mm -hmm. with my weight, then he did, it's some worn out in here, but. Oh, is that right? But he doesn't suggest me getting surgery yet until I get the weight off. I see. Yeah, well, we can, we can help you with that. Well, I've been walking now. I've been, east, I've been cutting back on ev everything else. Uh, eating vegetables and chicken. Oh, is that right? Okay, so you changed your diet? Yeah, I changed my diet plans. Uh-huh. Well, that'll, that'll really help. Uh, and exercise. I've been like, walking. Walking, yeah. So I, mean, I, I'm doing better on stairs now. I, I had a, usually I had a hard time walking up up and down the stairs because it was painful. Uh huh. A little a little discomfort now, but nothing like I was before. Mm -hmm. you know, I'm walking and walking up and down, trying to work the muscle. You know, on the stairs, trying to. Yeah, you have to build muscles. So when you're walking, just regular strolling doesn't really help that much. Yeah, but I I do some stretching. He says. Yeah. He gave me a thing a pamphlet on stretching. Mm -hmm. so that, which is nice yeah but you gotta vary your speed when you're walking it's called interval walking you improve your muscle by stressing your body when you walk so you go you go fast for a while and then you go slow yeah. and you go fast and slow right you keep repeating yeah. that when you do that it, it makes your it builds your muscles and it's a lot more effective that way yeah. And well, I, I walk around. I live in Naples, so I walk around. Uh, so it's nice down there, huh? Yeah, I walk. I walk the waterways, and I, there's a place called Mother's Beach. And it's just, I, I walk. I, I'm trying to walk. I'm looking up to walk over to Mother's Beach again. You what? I'm sorry. I'm looking. I'm looking I'm, I'm, I'm up to walk over to Mother's Beach. Oh really? Yeah. How far is that? So my place is probably about a half mile or. Uh -huh. a, I live in Naples. Once you get in Naples, I, I live off in, in front of the first year. I live, I live, I live like three blocks away from my doctor's office. Oh, is that right? Okay. And I now walk my doctor's office. Oh, you do? Okay. Yeah. That's good. Yeah, I walk. Yeah, that's there. a nice area. You should be out there strolling more, huh? Yeah. Go down the down the walk, uh, walk the other way, like Bayshore Drive up to uh, Ocean Boulevard and walk down that way. Uh -huh. Yeah, it's very nice down there. I wish I lived there. Well, I I, I lived in Danny for fifteen years. Was oh, that right? Yeah, I I was sharing a house with my brother, but he a year and a half ago he passed away from a heart attack. Oh, I'm sorry. So well, you so you moved down there? Yeah, I moved the down here because I didn't want the house myself. Uh -huh. It was too much to keep up on a house. Mm -hmm. I mean, a yard and everything up. Waste my it'll waste my weekend. I see. So I live in a condominium in, in Naples. So how long how long have you been living there near the beach? A year and a half. Oh, a year and a half? Right after my brother died. Oh, I see. We sold the house and I decided to move down, you know, move close to my mom because I'm always helping my mom out down there. Where's your mom? Nearby? Yeah, she lives about six blocks away from me. Oh, okay. And I, I walk, you know, and I can walk her house too. I, if I'm in a rut, I can make it in 10 minutes by walk walking fast uh-huh uh 25 30 minutes if i you know, walk slow yeah how old is your mom 89 89 wow she's still working yeah and, well she when, when she uh gets you know starts doing better she's gonna go back to play golf again oh is that right yeah she yeah. wants to play golf uh-huh it's, yeah. it's her shoulder but she's getting on once she gets uh the shot that she needs to get to go out and play uh, golf. Uh huh. And she's traveled. She, she, she's in good shape then. Yeah. She's she, fallen several times, whacked her head a, a couple times, but. Uh -huh. I, I don't know. I think she's going to outlive me, maybe. Really? <laughs> outlive our, our family. Well, I know she's outlived two of our. My, you know, two of our. I had two siblings in Dalton. One brother a year and a half, and then one 15 years ago. Wow. Or 20 years ago. Actually. What What's their secret of... Uh... Well, he, my one brother passed away from the age. About, I think it was 20 something years ago. Oh, age. really? Oh, wow. They couldn't treat it, so he... What, what is the secret of your mom's uh, uh, health and vigor? Oh, uh, she... 
keep your mind going and walking and uh, there's a lot of stuff. She's involved, she's involved. She yeah, likes. she's involved. She's got a lot of involved in other meetings. She club meetings and stuff. Oh, she does other... Uh... Yeah, she, there's a thing called Steel Magnolia, which is at the, at the Long Beach, right over here, at the Stronsky Foundation. Mm -hmm. They raise money for the... Uh, yeah, but, uh, oh, so she, she's involved in a lot of, um, and then we have, like, a non-profit stuff? Yeah, and then, then she's involved with the Musical Theatre West. Oh, really? Yeah, she's involved. Wow. She helps out up in that, and then a few, a few things that, another thing that's called Dad, and then the, the Yacht Club has a garden club she's involved with. Mm -hmm. So she, she, can, she can be involved. But she also keeps involved with the work too, though. So she, uh, yeah, she's still working, and she, then she she got she's able now to work from home. Uh huh. Get on the, on the computer at home. Right. She, so she's so your mom's eighty nine, and she's she, still in great shape, and. Well, she eight years nine years ago she had a a diva party with fifty of her friends. Oh, what's it called? A diva. Diva party? Yeah, D-I-D-A. Right, she's a diva? Well, that's what... <laughs> that's well, she's, she can only tell, when she's going to hit 90, she's going to have about 90 of her friends. Oh, oh, really? Wow. All females, of course. Really? The diva party. So your mom's... Know. Let me recap. Your mom is 89 years old. She throws this diva party. Actually, she's keep her, drill for her. Really? And then, she, and then she's still working. Don't she's still the CEO of the company, yeah. and then she's active in the nonprofit and uh, volunteer work. Yeah. And then she's she's keeping her mind and uh, body sharp. She wants to go back golfing, right? Yeah, she wants to go wow. golfing. Wow, so that's the secret of her well, health and vigor. Well, when the, when, when the COVID gets over, when we get able to travel some more, to go back to traveling. Right? Traveling some more too, huh? Yeah. Wow. Well, now, before my dad died, they went... It took three and a half months off. Like, about four months, travel around the world. Really? Wow. To me, it was like, a, I was felt like an orphan because I couldn't get a hold of him. Really? <laughs> you felt like an orphan? Yeah, not having parents at that time. Wow. Four months. Wow. And I used to have problems, and I always talk to my mom, but I had to talk to my one sister. Wow. Of course, now she moved to... Pinehurst, North Carolina. Oh, is that right? Oh, wow. Yeah, hey, check this out. You, you you like your nails so far? Yeah, lot lot nicer. They don't. They're not ugly. Yeah. They're not Look at uh, that. No more ram's horn right there. Yeah, no more. Crazy. I gotta lob it down. And once you start treating with the medicine and everything else, it's gonna look a lot better. So, okay, yeah. and I'm gonna send all of these samples uh, for the for the fungus samples as well. Let's take another picture here. Looks good. Very nice, Jack. Thanks for allowing us to film you today. Oh, you're welcome. Yeah.